Here's my setup for my DIY kitchen timer panning time lapse rig. All you need is a simple less than three dollars kitchen timer. I got mine at Walmart. Two clips. These are binder clips. Get it off any office supply store. If you look around, you might even have them at home. Uh, this is considered a medium size. It's about an inch. This is considered large. I think it's inch and a half wide. A couple of rubber bands. And important is you need a lightweight camera that's fairly thin and doesn't uh, probably this one. I think this one weighs a hundred grams, three and a half ounces. So I probably would not go any more than about eight ounces because. The mechanism for this timer is just not that heavy duty and not that durable. So I've seen other people do this by taking everything apart and drilling and doing different things with the mechanism. It can be removed from the inside fairly easy, but suppose you're somebody that's not really handy at do-it-yourself. You don't have a lot of tools around, but you still want to be able to do it. Here's an easy, simple, inexpensive way. This first clip, all I'm going to do clip it to the top here and all of the, the only function this performs is basically just making sure that it's a level when it sits down so I'm going to do this flip this one down flip this one down and all this does is make sure that it's sitting flat because as you can see it's kind of angled it has an angle to it so this way your camera will be sitting flat as it rotates uh, maybe you do want it tilted up for an effect but this is just an easy way to make it basically as close to flat as possible and obviously since you clip it on it's adjustable. The second clip I modified it slightly these two pieces of metal on the clip what I did was I bent them in just a little bit so that they would grip the camera a little better and all they do is clip on this top part right here so that way you don't have to drill usually what the other people do is drill a, a quarter inch hole and then screw in a quarter twenty thread either take a bolt and cut the head off or use some threaded rod quarter twenty but my way is a little bit simpler. You just stick the clip up there and it's ready to go to hold the camera in place. And then I just set the camera down here. I can even adjust it to center it a little bit better. If I want to move the clip here, I'll move it a little bit to the side. And then the camera will be a little bit more centered, dead center on the thing. And then basically the only need for the rubber bands is just to hold this together like this. So I will take the two rubber bands See if I can do this with one hand. Put them down on the camera like this. And basically just flip them over to the other side and the same thing on back. Uh, you get the idea there. Basically they're just on the outside just holding this together. You could even use another clip or something like that. But it just basically keeps it in place, keeps it steady. and. Uh, Basically, that way you can pull it on and off to uh, wind it instead of uh, having the camera on. You can wind it to the 60 minutes. There have been some other clever ideas. This is not my original idea of using this timer. There are many, many videos on YouTube that show this. In fact, one guy has got a video that's uh, really cool. He takes the mechanism out, and with two pieces of string, he actually uses them to drive a spice rack Lazy Susan so that he can get some gear reduction and on the Lazy Susan he can put his full-size DSLR camera that probably weighs several pounds because this mechanism I would say you would be probably asking a lot of it to support a, a full digital SLR camera on it so he uses a, a Lazy Susan. I'm going to put some links to some of the videos that inspired me for this down in the very bottom so look down in the bottom in the description for links to other videos that use this same egg timer mechanism but so far I believe mine is the cheapest quickest and easiest of all the ones I have seen so far so I hope this helps you guys out and here's a close-up of it with the rubber band in place just acting as a clamp clamping the handles together